But these men will certainly want to write their own piece of history. Chapter one of five in the 2024 under 26 nations is ready to get underway. Stepping back in, but he met the tackle of Luca Bellucci. And it's there for Henry Pollock, who during those anthems was absolutely hopping and skipping and jumping. Absolutely full of nervous energy and waiting to get going, Pollock. Penalty advantage. Drilled straight through, three points. Yeah, well done, South African born inside centre. Sends it straight down the middle. Oh, and it is going to be the option for the drop goal. He's been well positioned here, but the radar not quite right from Pucciariello. Here it goes from Casilio. Now they've got room if they could try to shift it. Oh, the footwork was nice from Nicola Boxer, one of the experienced men, but they were screaming through it on the outside. They had a four on two. Yeah, his footwork was good. All he needed was a handwork, handwork to the left hand side, and it was an overlap. Could yet make it work. Oh. Pucciariello was taken out late. Just the England second row, as Junior Kapoka, he's just talking to Tofti and he's, he's still in school, he's still 18. Racing with Stuart Lancaster, so whether France won him or England won him, we'll have to see. And then um, good scrum is again, they're going to go. Well, they're going for a pair. Well, the referee's happy what? for them to play, but they are under penalty advantage. Now, is it going to go? It was a lovely little read of where the space was, the late release from Pucciariello. Italy still with the penalty advantage. England get over that to slow it down. It was solid work from Kapoku, but it's fly half. Finn Russell, another one. Just seems to have time on the ball. And Pucciariello has got time enough on the tee as well. Second penalty for Italy. And the hosts go in front for the first time after 18 minutes. Well, I think it was Zach Carr that actually got England out of a whole lot of mess then. Douglas. Taylor. Oh, that's a lovely line. Red shot, ball back inside, it's going to be Henry Pollock to streak under the posts. England get the game's first try. It's the form team in the Premiership. Again, it's just a simple move, isn't it? Just uh, not quite sure what was happening. You can see the celebrations behind the post from the subs. Just a straight ball. I think it was Sean Kerr taking that ball in and then just popping the ball out to Pollock on his right-hand side. That's what you need to do, simple, straight running. So the crowd did have something to, 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 to cry about the referee. Totally missed it, and the, and the touch judge. Oh, here he goes again. Lovely show and go from Pollock. Oh, and he's bounced through the next one. Pollock to score a glorious second. All of his own making. And you can see he's made seven appearances for the senior side of Saints, and he's going to make a lot more, isn't he? He is the will of the wisp. Well, he's a bit bigger than the will of the wisp. He is just a, a gliding out and out seven who jackals over the ball who's got lots of pace lots of skill lots of flair England in the 22 now it's there for the man with two tries but he releases it out the back and they come bowling their way through England can they hold on to possession Taylor then again and they could be queuing up on the outside it's going to be the skipper can't have to score he gets the ball down he's done it the captain he just knew the space was there there is no way whoever's coming across, whether it be a second row, you're going to stop the captain in there, and he has enjoyed that. Just been suffering from a little bit of a stinger. He's put his shoulder in there, finished the grounding perfectly, and that's how you take a score. And I think the whistle will be blown for full time. Ball is out the back. Oh, and the referee. Well, he's going to call them back. Cover him. Italy go quickly, Pollock sends it away, it's going to be the try for Sean Kerr! Sorry. Again, Pollock was after his third, watch this now, Pollock gets the ball, there he goes, number seven, Pollock, Pollock, Pollock. yep, there you go, easy as that, that's fine, he's taken it from the mark, you can see the celebrations, you can see what it means, that's four tries, that's five points, and that's how to play rugby. Oh, here we go. Italy get the shove on. The carpet in the corner certainly coming up a bit. Scalabrina is adding his weight to the back of this to try and get them over, but the England defensive effort is pretty strong so far. Now they come round to the right. Italy down. They have their try. Well, they certainly did. They got that right. England couldn't bring them down before they got the first initial push on. All the backs got involved. Not quite sure who's got the score. The referee is, because he's given the try. 
I'm sure we will be told if we can't see from this angle. Not much time for Jacob Oliver to think about things. Just get in and make sure you hit your arrows here. Kandorf calls it, moves to the front. That'll do. England get the shove on. It's Pollock who's driving through. Oh, is it Pollock for a third? Superb by England. And they've just had too much power and precision in the end for this Italian outfit. Emerging from the front, two metres out, and there's the celebration. You love to see. In it goes. Pelliccioli. Oh, it's been wrestled away. It's going to be smashed clear by Junior Capoku after England wrestle it from Italy. And that has rather been the story of the game.